hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have another sunday reset video it was a pretty chill sunday for the most part so i hope y'all enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get straight into the video all right so i woke up and made my to-do list for the day and then i just made my bed a little bit but i'm going to change my sheets later so i headed to the bathroom and i'm going to do some skincare so i started off by cleansing my face and i'm going to put on some under eye masks and an acne mask I've been using a lot of new products lately and I'm not really going to go into depth about them in this video just because I'm trying to perfect my skincare routine. You guys know I have hormonal acne so I haven't really found like the perfect product for that specifically but I do love all of these products and I will have them linked in the description below. So I just brush my teeth, use mouthwash and then I'm cleaning up after myself next i'm gonna put my hair up in a bun out of the way and i'm gonna put on a sweatshirt that i don't care about so i can clean without worrying about getting cleaning products on my clothes and put my airpods on and get started with my day so first i'm just making coffee to give me some fuel i've been making coffee so much lately but i just use oat milk and two shots of espresso and then add some sweet cream on top I loaded my dishwasher the night before so I'm just putting away the clean dishes and then I'm going to get started on cleaning my kitchen. I did clean my entire apartment including my bathroom and everything. I just didn't really show you guys the bathroom because I do have a video where I cleaned my bathroom like more in depth. Um, but I did clean everything but I'm just showing you guys mainly the kitchen. So I just straightened up the counter and I don't know what these things on top of the stove are called but I cleaned them and place them to the side and then i'm gonna go in and actually clean the stove top so i'm taking my lysol all-purpose cleaner and pouring that over a wet scrub mommy and then getting it really sudsed up and scrubbing down my stove top so i love scrub daddy products i use them for literally everything all my countertops my shower my dishes i have a dish daddy i just love scrub daddy products they're so good and they get everything really clean so after i clean off my stove top i'm going to take this daily like stove cleaner and just spray that to give it some shine i'm also cleaning this part of the stove i didn't do the inside of my oven today i really should have because it's disgusting but i'll clean that on another day so i'm just wiping down my microwave as well i feel like the microwave always gets forgotten so make sure you guys clean your microwaves too and then for my countertops i'm doing the same thing so i just made sure that they were wet and then i sudsed up the scrub daddy and i'm scrubbing down the counter i used to just spray the cleaning products on and wipe them down with a paper towel but the scrub daddy just really gets them so shiny and clean so i really do like this method um and then i took some pledge and sprayed that on the counters and wiped it with a microfiber towel just again to give it some shine and make sure there's no dust and then this little mini diffuser is actually supposed to be for the car but i just keep it in my house and i put some eucalyptus oil and got that started just for some relaxing smell goods next i'm taking some stainless steel cleaner and i'm cleaning the front of my fridge i also did wipe down the dishwasher i just didn't show it again it's kind of hard to film like every little step but i'm going to also straighten up the inside of my fridge throw away any rotten like produce or expired things and just old food that i had in there and then i'm gonna wipe down my trash can because you guys can see that it was dirty and take out the trash i love this little automatic trash can my aunt got me this or she gave me this this was hers for when i moved into my first apartment so thank you Etsy. but um i'm just straightening up the things in my fridge i have been keeping it pretty organized for the most part so i'm just kind of re organizing everything and wiping down the insides to keep it looking clean and get all of like the humidity and water and stuff off of the shelves and i went to the grocery store the day before this so i made sure to wash all of my produce and this is just going to help it last longer in the fridge and not rot as quickly and i made sure to take out these bottom two drawers and rinse them out just to get all the old vegetables and like cilantro and stuff that was at the bottom and this is how my fridge is looking 
it wasn't too dirty so it was really easy to just reorganize it really quickly and it's always good to do that especially after you go to the grocery store just to fit everything in nicely and for my other surfaces in my house i'm just dusting them off and i'm using pledge and a microfiber towel just to make sure i get all the dust off and have everything smelling good and i don't know why i put these two empty candles back they should be in the trash but i'm gonna move on to my little coffee table i really really want to redecorate so bad you guys like i hate that every surface in my living room is white it didn't i didn't plan it that way but it kind of has to be that way for this new apartment and i'm just ready to redo everything um but like i said earlier in the video i needed to change my sheets so that's what i did and i'm putting my duvet cover on i really hate that i have a duvet cover because it's a pain to put on every single time but it does give you flexibility to change your decor like whenever you want even though mine i haven't changed it since i moved in so i really didn't need a duvet anyways i got hungry so i'm taking a little snack break so i made this fruit salad i saw on instagram i'll try to find it and link it if i can so basically you just take your favorite fruits or one that ones that pair well together and cut them into small pieces so i use apples mango watermelon grapes oranges and blue and raspberries and then i added some mint and lime juice on top and y'all it's so so good like you have to try it out you don't even need to use this much fruit just get your favorite and cut it up really small and the lime and the mint really take it to the next level it's so good i'm so glad i found this recipe and it's really healthy and easy to do so definitely try that out so back to cleaning i'm boiling some water to mop with and then i'm going to use some carpet odor eliminator and pour that all over my carpet and my rug and while i wait for the water i am going to sweep and vacuum i did do every room in my apartment i just didn't film like every single part of it i got a little lazy but i'm sweeping and then picking up all the trash and then vacuuming before i go in and mop so i'm using pine salt today i think it sanitizes more than fabuloso but it is really strong so you don't need a lot of it and i like to use boiling hot water to mop because it gives the same effect as a steam mop and the hot water really helps to get all the dirt and you know grime off of your floors so i'm just mopping my kitchen living room and bathroom floors and then i'm going to dispose of the mop water in the toilet it's always so satisfying to me how it goes down automatically but that water was super dirty so yeah hot water really does help to get all the dirt up next up is a diy wax so sometimes i wax myself and sometimes i go to european wax center but i hate when my hair is growing back because it's so thick and uncomfortable so sometimes i just bite the bullet and do it really quickly at home i've been making this wax for a really long time and i will link the video that i use down below make sure you guys watch that if you do plan on doing your own waxes because it's very specific steps to it and i wouldn't want anyone to burn themselves so the video i linked down below will have a lot of details but i'm just testing out the wax in some cold water to see if it's done and then i'm going to pour it into a tupperware and rinse out my pot and then i'm going to take a shower just to get nice and clean you want your skin to be dry and clean before you go in and wax and i'm just going to demonstrate on my arm i did do a brazilian but basically you want to apply the wax in the opposite direction of your hair growth and then i apply a wax strip and remove it in the direction of my hair growth so that's pretty much it for my wax and next i'm going to be making some textured art pieces i've made one before and i just wanted to do another one today because it's so therapeutic and fun and it doesn't have to be perfect so there's no stress and i love the texture of the plaster i love working with this and like being able to touch it and get like messy and it's just really fun because there's no like pressure to make anything perfect so i highly recommend these if you guys want something like relaxing to do and it's also a really affordable way to add like art pieces to your house or your apartment so i just applied the plaster with my hands and then now i'm smoothing it out with this tool i got all of these things from home depot and i'm using this tool with these ridges to make some designs in 
the art so I didn't really love how these designs turned out but like I said it's textured art so it really doesn't have to be perfect but we're just gonna ignore this little bottom right side because I didn't really know what to do with that um, but I wanted these to be like a continuation of each other so I put them really close together and made the middle part kind of symmetrical so it looks like you know they're supposed to go next to each other and this is how it turns out so I'm just gonna let this dry overnight and paint it tomorrow so for dinner today I'm making a spinach salad with strawberries oranges feta cheese and pecans and I'm gonna make a poppy seed balsamic vinaigrette to go with it so first I'm just roasting the pecans and I'm setting my timer for eight minutes and y'all look at this clumsy that really did break my heart but I did have more pecans so I just started over and now I'm gonna get started on the salad itself so I'm adding some spinach and cutting up the strawberries everything is washed and dried and I also added mandarin oranges so I got this recipe from Google so I'll link it down below but the original recipe didn't have oranges so if you want to opt out on that part you definitely can or you can just do oranges just depending on what you like but you can obviously customize a salad to you know be anything you want it to be so yeah I'm adding the roasted pecans and the feta cheese and then starting on the balsamic vinaigrette dressing so I usually don't like any type of balsamic vinaigrette but this one was actually really good I feel like the honey cut down on the vinegar taste so I highly recommend even if you don't like balsamic vinaigrette because that is like the healthier option for a salad dressing um, so I'm just seasoning it and I also made chicken for protein for this salad and that's pretty much it it's a 10 out of 10 I love it so much it's literally the perfect fresh summer salad and it's really good and finally this is the next day I'm just gonna finish my painting so I mixed these two colors together both of them I got from Hobby Lobby and I just made sure the plaster was completely dry before painting and takes it to the next level and makes it look complete and you can get creative with it you can use different colors or you can keep it basic like I did just whatever works for your apartment or your home and yeah it's just a really affordable way to add art pieces into your house it's a really fun hobby as well and i love making these so this is the final result i thought they looked really cute and i love how they are a continuation but this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed i don't have an outro so here's a black screen but thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in the next video